Looking for a little something different on the side, Foodland Ontario home economist Teresa McCarowitz joins us with two delicious recipes involving uh, squash and potatoes. Good morning. Good morning, Annette. Yes, they're they're very tasty, and I love them because they're using in-season Ontario produce. You can enjoy them on their own, or you can serve them with roast lamb, beef, chicken, or turkey, or even fish. Um, you can find both of the recipes on our website, foodlandontario.ca. The first one is a barley with roasted squash, apple, and feta salad. Now, to begin that recipe, um, what you have to do is take three cups of bite-sized butternut squash, also one leek that has been cut into rounds. You drizzle that with olive oil, a little bit of dry thyme, salt and pepper, and then spread that out into a single layer on a cookie sheet and roast it in a 425 degree oven for 15 minutes and stirring it halfway through. You just want the squash to be um, fork tender. You, do, you wanna make sure that it does have some bite to it. Now to make the dressing, the dressing is super simple. We have two tablespoons of oil. We also have one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, salt and pepper, and that's it, very simple. Now to put the salad together, I have cooked up some barley. You can use your favorite grain. It could be quinoa or it could be rice. You could use what you have on hand. And that's what's great with our Foodland Ontario recipes. You could use your imagination in these kinds of recipes or use what you have in your cupboard. I'm adding And that's a great way of reducing food waste, right? Is, is using uh, what you have. Absolutely, Annette, absolutely. So I added um, four teaspoons of capers, so they're gonna add a punch of flavor, some saltiness. Then we add in our roasted vegetables. Now, what you could do is make this ahead of time and refrigerate it. And when you're ready to serve it, all you do is add some fresh mint. Now, if you have any leftover mint, what I like to do is just put boiling water over it and then have a lovely refreshing mint tea after dinner. I'm adding one Ontario apple that I've chopped into bite-sized pieces and also some feta cheese, uh, loco. It adds some creaminess. Uh, it adds a little bit of salt and your salad is ready. Now with the butternut squash, when you're picking it up at the store, look for one that's heavy in size. And then when you bring it home, store it in somewhere where it's nice and cool and in a dry, dry area in your store for, for a couple of weeks for you. And to peel it, a vegetable peeler is the simplest tool and to chop it up a nice sharp knife. Okay, now, so don't put it in the fridge though, right? No. It shouldn't really it, go in the well, fridge. It does not. Exactly. Cool temperature. Once you cut it, it can go in the refrigerator, but not before you cut it. And just before so you get to the next recipe, I, yes. I had no idea that we uh, produce or grow leeks in Ontario. Oh, yes, we do. I didn't oh, know yes. that. There's my thing I learned and, today. And this is the perfect season for it. And it's great um, in salads and soups. And what I love when you roast them in this recipe is they, they get even sweeter than, than they are when they're fresh. Awesome, awesome. Okay, now we're moving on to potatoes, which is really important oh, okay. right now because this is a staple that's really affordable, right? And, and with food prices up so much right now, these two recipes especially are really important. Absolutely, and we grow these um, in, in our own backyard. So it's using two potatoes. So this is a sweet and spicy roasted potatoes. So I have a sweet potato and again, grown locally. And I also have just the regular potato, a Yukon gold you can use, or you could use a white potato. And I also have a red onion. And again, I've just cut these into wedges. I'm going to drizzle with oil. This could be olive oil, it could be regular vegetable oil. Again, what you have on hand. And for our seasonings, I have some chili powder, I have some cumin, salt, and cayenne. Now, if you want to make it family friendly or if you don't like heat, just omit the cayenne. Now, if you don't have cayenne and you do want heat, hot sauce will work or even um, pepper, um, crushed red pepper flakes. You toss this you spread it out on a baking sheet. You want to make sure it's a single layer so they uh, roast as opposed to steam. Again, a nice hot oven, 
425 degrees and about 25 to 30 minutes and tossing them halfway up through. Now, I like to jazz them up a little bit and I have um, for you a tahini dressing, which is prepared just making yogurt, fresh lemon juice, a garlic clove that I've pressed, and also salt and pepper. And a tahini paste is a, is a sesame seed paste, and it adds lovely flavor. This is kind of like a Middle Eastern flavor. And you just drizzle as little or as much as you want on the roasted potatoes. Now, if you have kids at home, I like to put my... Um, dip into a little container and kids of all ages love to dip and this way they have their own single container and then we'll just add some pumpkin seeds and some fresh herbs you can enjoy these uh, potatoes cold and you can have them hot you can even make them up ahead of time so so they're terrific um, to do ahead if, if you have a busy a busy week ahead and don't we all? <laughs> uh, so exactly. I'm sure the potatoes would be a great side with a small um, Christmas dinner. But the, the, the first recipe you had, um, yes. I can imagine that that is probably even tastier the next day, right? And Annette, I was thinking about you when I was making it. Yes, <laughs> oh, it thank is you. delicious. <laughs> it is absolutely delicious um, the next day. Uh, it, even when it's all tossed together, it's very good. And if you want to turn this into like a main dish salad, you can add a can of um, chickpeas that you've washed and uh, drained and rinsed them. Or even if you have any cooked uh, turkey left over, you can throw it in and it can be a main dish salad. So it has a lot of possibilities. And I do encourage you to visit our website so that um, you can be inspired and you can pick recipes with produce that are in season so that we are supporting our, our local farmers. Yeah, check for that Foodland Ontario sticker. Teresa, thank you very much. And thanks to Juris as well, your husband, who does all the uh, <laughs> the display for the food. I, I saw him walking through the shop there. So Merry Christmas oh. to you both. <laughs> thank you. Merry Christmas to you and everyone.